Also new at noon, a cold case closed after a woman was raped and murdered back in 1998 in Broward County. The victim known as Jane Doe was identified earlier this year. Now detectives have arrested her alleged killer. Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos is live outside the BSO headquarters near Fort Lauderdale with the break in the case. Relatives of the victim say it has been nearly 25 years since this all happened, but this still feels like an open wound. Well, today they are getting some closure knowing that their loved one's suspected killer is now behind bars. She was a good person. She knew the self to die the way she died, brutalized. Nancy Troopner in tears as she described her 41-year-old sister, Eileen Troopner, who was left for dead in a grassy area in southwest Broward County off U.S. 27 in 1998. Nearly 25 years later, and detectives have found her killer. It hurts. And it hurts like it was yesterday. Lead detective Zach Scott said Lucius Boyd is the man who brutally raped and murdered the mother of two. With the advent of genealogy, uh, we reprocessed the evidence to try to get the material we needed to identify the victim. And in the course of doing that processing, we were able to link uh, Lucius Boyd to her murder. And he never gave up in Eileen. He was, he was persistent in finding her killer until he did. Boyd, already a convicted murderer, rapist, and suspected serial killer, now on death row for the murder of 21-year-old Dewania DaCosta, who detectives said was killed just two weeks before Eileen. Even though they have the person in, 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 in jail, um, that person gonna have going to get justice. While Boyd's death sentence looms, Sheriff Gregory Tony says their homicide cold case unit will not stop looking into several other cases he may be linked to regardless of how much time has passed. Justice has no expiration date. And if you commit a crime, a brutal murder or a rape, whether it's been 20 years ago or tomorrow, we're going to track you down and bring you into custody. And when we spoke with that lead detective, he said that Boyd did move throughout the state of Florida. Right now, they want to speak with anyone who may have had contact with him during the 90s. Uh, if you have information, you are urged to contact the Broward Sheriff's Office. For now, outside of the Broward Sheriff's Office near Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Okay, Roy.